I am knocking something off of my bucket list this summer and it is called going to Las Vegas. I have never been. I'm excited to go. It's on my bucket list. I'm going with one of my best friends in the entire world who I've known since I was literally like fucking 13 or 14 and it's going to be legit. It's going to be just fucking awesome. It's going to be fun. There's no significant others. It's just going to be debauchery and awesome sauce. However, I've been researching heavily because there is a couple things I want to do in Vegas. One is see a show. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just, I want to see a, a show and I also want to have like a nice dinner someplace. Whether it's dinner, brunch, breakfast, lunch, whatever it is, I want it to be like a unique experience. And those are the only two requirements I really have. That and the rule that is you can't say no. So if, yeah, if a hooker comes up to me and is like, here are my papers, I'm clean as a whistle, I'll do this for you. Yes or no? And I'd be like, these papers look clean. What'd you say, $100 more? Sold. Yeah, I'm totally, Vegas, once in a lifetime, gonna do it. However, I also started researching on YouTube because YouTube is fucking real. And I came across this, this one chick who I'm gonna link her video below because she's actually prompted me to make this video because it reminded me of Taurus coming to Times Square. And so a lot of what she has to say kind of mirrors a lot of what you should think about if you're coming to New York City. So I'm going to link that below and you should totally check that out. Number one, her whole thing was like when you come out of the airport, there's going to be a boatload of cabs. And if you come off like a first timer and if you're not like, oh, go this route, I want to go here. If you don't know where the fuck you're going, they're going to take advantage of you and go the long way. And if, and like a $10 Uber cab, cab ride is going to end up costing you like $30. And we don't want that. And that's the also same shit in New York City. Like, yeah, take the time before you come to New York City to like Google Maps, like, you know, like airport to hotel. Like try to like figure out the best way possible before you get taken advantage of because it is a reality and it does happen and be to be completely honest once you're actually in manhattan it's an island like and it's a grid like it is very easy to get from point a to point b all over manhattan and if you got to take the subway it's literally 275 like it is a lot cheaper than having some dumbass cab driver or some uber dude that's going to take advantage of you driving this way and that way just to like run up your tab like it's not worth it like do, just do a little research into the, the 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 distance you gotta go and i am gonna do that for vegas because it go go watch this woman's video because she's on point even though she's from canada and canada sometimes has a bad rap because it's like not america but also canadians are really super nice and tim hortons Anyways, so another thing is food. In New York City, like food will up the ass fucking eat your fucking wallet. Period. I'm telling you right now, I had a I had a friend of mine visit Times Square on a trip, and I will tell you right now, there's some good food in New York City. One of them is a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Yeah, or roll, but yeah, bacon, egg, and cheese, bomb. Pizza, bomb. White Castle, bomb. Dirty water dogs, bomb bomb now this friend of mine got a dirty water dog in times square and when he told me that he paid seven dollars for a hot dog i, I just I, I didn't have words because if you would have walked a block and a half away from times square you would have got that same fucking hot dog for 250 so you really got to be aware of the food situation. Now in Times Square and in New York City in general, there's a lot of street meat and there's a lot of food car carts, but like in Times Square, they will, they will literally eat your wallet for fun, for fucking fun. And this goes for fucking McDonald's too. Don't think just because it's McDonald's, it's the same. It is not the same. You could get a McDonald's whatever the fuck, wherever you're from for $1, you come to Times Square, you're gonna pay three times the amount for whatever the fuck you just did. So I'm just saying like in general, food is a huge thing. Like you accept the fact that when you wanna go out and have like a nice dinner in New York City, you're gonna shell out the dollars. That's fine. I've accepted that for when I go to Vegas. If you wanna have a nice dinner, do it. That's fine. But when it comes to like getting taken advantage of, no. Please, for the love of God, don't play $7 for a hot dog. Oh, it's good. Trust me. Dirty water dogs are good. Just don't do it. Don't. And then you got the tourist attractions, okay? You got 
you got the, I'm not going to call them scam artists, but you got the people that are paid to be out there and be like, come to this comedy show, come to this attraction, here it's a discount, it's a discount, it's a discount, like, and if you're not from around there, they make it sound like it's a great deal. Sometimes it is a great deal. It's a great deal if you have not planned ahead. Like, I've done it myself, and I'm from New York, and it's like, oh, you got this deal? Like, hmm, okay, so, well, since I have nothing to do for the next two hours and I'm bored, I'm gonna, yeah, sure, like, yeah, let's do that. It's a good deal because I didn't book it in advance. I didn't try anywhere near harder at all, little, literally. Like, you popped into my life. It sounds like a good deal because it's in my hand. But you can avoid being charged so much money to do things that don't cost so much money. And here's my other tip. Tourist attractions, like, in Times Square, so, um... I mean, you have the Hard Rock, you have um, the M&M Factory, you have, like, the Hershey Factory, you have the giant Toys R Us. You have a lot of things, like, in Times Square. One of the hugest touristy things, which this chick, go ahead, talks about when you're in Vegas, is, like, the I Love New York shirts. Just like the I Love Vegas shirts, the I Love New York shirts, the keychains, the shot glasses, the fucking mugs. You want to get a souvenir for whoever the fuck you want? Don't get it in Times Square! Just don't. Just don't do it. You can go branch out of Times Square and you will find the same shit for literally half the price. Like, it's it, it, it just like, it's just like, don't. Just don't. Don't. Don't buy souvenirs in Times Square. Just don't do it. Um, oh, and if you go to the M&M factory, I love the green M&M. She's like my boo. Like, you don't, you think I'm fucking lying. You think I'm, right? I have green M&M boxers because this bitch is my girl. She's my home girl. I got her everywhere. I... I love the green M&M. And there's an M&M factory, but you know what? You can buy M&Ms there. Yeah. There's a price per pound of a boatload of M&Ms. Just don't do it. Because you can walk a block, two blocks outside of Times Square. And get the same M&Ms for a third of the price. Even cheaper. So just don't do it. Um, my other advice for traveling to New York City is to really look up the discounts. A lot of places that are tourist attractions like uh, the Empire State Building or One World Trade, if you get your tickets online, they're a lot cheaper. Like, just don't fall for the bullshit that you come across, like, in person walking down the street. Oh, and here's another thing. You're going to find a boatload of home homeless people and, and, and people trying to hustle you for money, like, with their little change things. I'm just going to say, yes. There is a homeless population in New York City. In the subways, there are a lot of homeless people. Just, just forewarn, not all of them deserve your money. For example, I deal with every day when I go to work, but I only give like my spare change, or if I got granola bars, my spare change here or there. Like I only give it to the ones who don't fucking ask, and who don't sing on the subway, and who don't play their goddamn guitar, and who don't pre preach about fucking Jesus fucking Christ on the goddamn subway. Because you know what? They deserve it more. And that's how I feel about that. And that's all I gotta say. This is a really long video, but I have, I have even more words to say about coming to New York City. But... Just to keep in the back of your mind, all of the things this chick says about Vegas in this video below is the equivalent to coming to New York City. You just gotta be prepared and you gotta be on the lookout for scams and deals because you know what? If you do it right, you can save a few dollars and um, it'll, it'll be good. It's not a bad thing. You just gotta be smart. You just gotta be alert and you just gotta do your research. And that's all I gotta say. I can't wait to go to oh, Vegas. I do want to race a Lamborghini slash Ferrari on a track for $500 if you would like to give some money to my PayPal account and help me reach my goal of um, either getting a really awesome steak or driving a Lambo five laps. I will take any of your donations and I will promise you that I will take a picture before I either eat your donation or ride a Lambo. So, um... Wedge dot Rodriguez at yahoo.com PayPal me five dollars five hundred dollars I promise I will take pictures and I will be so forever grateful because I'm not that rich yet and that's all I gotta say happy Sunday happy Easter Jesus is back <laughs> what up we're done